Park Ridge. I bring you greetings in the middle of the week. I hope you're having a great week so far. We are approaching Father's Day. And so this Sunday, as we celebrate dads and their uh, influence in our lives, and the difference that they make, the impact they have in the world, I want to take you to a place in scripture that I hope will be encouraging to families as a whole, but certainly to dads, that we would be stretched and be the men that God has called us to be. Paul's writing to the church at Colossae, and in his letter, there's much about his letter that sounds like a prayer. He is praying that these things will happen in the life of the people who are in this church. And over in chapter 3, he talks about putting on the new you, the you that is now filled full with the Spirit of God. And he begins chapter 3 with these words, If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Then he goes through a series of I'll call them thou shalt nots, things that you shouldn't be doing, things that you have put to death because of the presence of Christ in you. And then in verse 12, it picks up again with how we are to live. Put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another. And if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you so you also must forgive and above all these put on love which binds everything together in perfect harmony and let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts to which indeed you were called in one body and be thankful let the word of Christ dwell in you richly teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God and whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Then the Apostle Paul launches into a little bit of an instruction manual for families, for households. He talks first about wives submitting to husbands as is fitting in the Lord. Then he talks to husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. Uh, these give an understanding back to, to what was written in Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 5. And then the children, he says, obey your parents in everything, for this pleases the Lord. But then, verse 21 of chapter 3, he has a specific word for fathers. Here it is. Fathers, do not provoke your children, lest they become discouraged. Men, we often tend to be pretty bottom line. You know, do this, do this now, do it my way or the highway, etc., etc. And that personality trait that a lot of men have who are strong and, and leaders and decisive in, in that way, it's not a bad thing, but it can often be a detrimental thing in our parenting because we have unclear or impossible standards to meet. So gentlemen, I would say what Paul prayed first for those men, for those people in the church at Colossae, to put on the new thing that we are in Christ. And he used words like humility and patience and kindness and love. These are, these are words and qualities and characteristics that God is calling all of us to, men and women and children, uh, church members. But dads, as, as we live that out in our lives, we help set the right tone in the family. Praying for you this week as dads, as moms, as young people, as single people, whoever you are, that you would be richly blessed with the things of God. You would be filled with his spirit and found running hard after him. Fight the good fight. Love you all. See you Sunday.